And this is the work audience from 1971. This was from Stanley Kubrick. Yes, other islands. Thinking milk. And other guys wearing lipstick. And there's a lot of mannequins. There was me, that is Alex, and my three droogs. Georgie and Dim sat in the Corova milk bar trying to make up our razoo docs what to do with the evening. Corova milk bar sold milk plus or synthomesk or drencrum, which is what we were drinking. Come up and make you ready for a bit of the old ultra violence. Mm, dear poor violence. Pretty I first my eyes sweet rod and not a one thing I Time to kill him. Stand. Filthy, dirty old drunky. As it might be a filthy old orchestra and his stinking rotten guts. Whatever his age might be. But more especially when he was real old like this one was. Yeah, old buddy. Can you spare some cutter? Oh! We don't want to live anyway. Not in a stinking water like this. What's so stinking? Thinking about it. Oh, Lord, no order anymore. <laughs> men on <are> that moon <laughs> and men spinning around the earth. <laughs> mm, this time, sit go. Mm, guess it's done. The casino that we came across, Billy Boy and his four droogs, and a little of the old. In out, in out, on a weepy young divotchka they had there. Mm, this spot on here. This guy can do that a pass, that a trap. Mm. Yes, they want to die. We fill it around for a while with other travelers of the night. What we were after now was the old surprise visit, but for laughs and lashings of the old ultra violent. Who on earth could that be? I'll go and see. Mm -hmm. They what going to be murder? In the middle of the road, bleeding to death. Can I please use your telephone for an ambulance? I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. You says there's been an accident. Well, I suppose you better let him in. But we don't usually let strangers in in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still there? Having been an evening of some small energy expenditure, oh my brothers, popped off at the Corova for a nightcap. Hello, Lucy. We've been working hard too. Pardon me, Luce. There were some sophisticated TVs. Devochka was smacking away and not caring about the wicked world when she suddenly came with a burst of singing. Freude schöne. Went to my brothers. Some great bird had flown into the milk bar, but all the melanchy little hairs on my plot, standing endwise like slow melanchy lizards, and then down again, it was a bit from the glorious ninth by Ludwig van. What did you do that for? Must have been no manners. 
I'm not a duke of an idea how to comport yourself public-wise, oh, my brother. And I'm not your brother no more and wouldn't want to be. Who watched that old Demeter continue to be online? Thou dost wish. Bolsy, you're a block host to you. Sense to reason, I won't have it. No scrap any time you say. Doobie doo, a bit tired maybe. Let's go home ways and get a better spatchka. Right, right? Right, right. right. With my dad and mum in municipal flat block 18A, linear north. Not the bad. What I needed now to give it the perfect ending was a bit of the old Ludwig van. Yeah, yeah, song. Yeah, Beethoven. Oh, it was gorgeousness and gorgeosity made flesh. A bird of rarest spun heaven metal. Every wine flowing in a spaceship. Gravity all nonsense now. Such lovely pictures. I guess they are there. Alex, you don't want to be late for school, son. Bit of a pain in the gulliver, Mum. Leave us be and I'll try and sleep. You've not been to school all week, son. To get fit, otherwise I'm liable to miss a lot more school. Yes, control Have a nice day at the factory. He's not feeling too good again this morning. Though. Where exactly is it? He goes to work of evenings. It's mostly odd things he does. Helping, like, here and there as it might be. And distressing him. Surprise seeing you here. Ah, uh, Alec boy, awake at last, yes? He gave me the key. He said something about a pain somewhere, hence not at school, yes? Horrible pain in the head, brother, sir. I think it should be clear by this after lunch. Anything wrong, sir? Wrong. <laughs> it's getting kind of weird. Do you think of anything being wrong? First corrective advisor to you that you watch out, little Alex, because it's going to be the barry place and all my work ruined. If you've no respect for your horrible self, wet it over you. A big black mark, I tell you, for every who ends up in the stripy hole. I've been doing nothing I shouldn't, sir. What <laughs> about this clever talk about Millicent just because the police haven't picked you up late? There was a bit of a nastiness last night, yes? Some very extreme nastiness, yes? Your name was mentioned. The words got through to me by the usual channel. Certain friends of yours were named also. The one man in this sore and sick community who wants to save you from yourself. <laughs> what a good home here, good loving parents. You've got not too bad of a brain. Keep your handsome young proboscis out of the dirt. Do I make myself clear? Clear as an azure sky of deepest summer. You can rely on me, sir. Oh. I ordered this two weeks ago. Can you see if it's arrived yet, please? Bookstore. Pardon me, ladies. Enjoying that, are you, my darling? Cold and pointless, isn't it, my lovely? Goggly Go Go, Johnny Zhivago, The Heaven 17. Hmm? What you got back home, little sister, to play your fuzzy warbles on? I bet you got little, say, pitiful, portable picnic players, or angel trumpets, and devil trombones. You are invited. <laughs> The second time. He had a right, hooray! And we thought you might have been like offended by yeah. something or other. I had something of a pain in the gulliver, so I had to sleep. I was not awakened when I gave orders for waiting. Do the gulliver too much, like maybe? <laughs> you sure you'd not be happy about your bed? <laughs> Let's get things nice and sparkling clear. Is some sort of a little idea? 
If I may call it such, does not become you, O oh my droog and leader. I'm entitled to know what goes on, eh? <laughs> what does that great big horsey gape of a grin put in? Wait, no more picking on dim, brother. That's part of the new way. You tend to split the set up. large talk behind my sleeping back and no error. Coming out with a pitiful rooker full of money each. Pitiful rooker full. And there's Will the English and the Muscle Man coffee mess. Oh, yeah. The big, big, big money's available is what Will the English says. Big, big money. In a motor car, you pluck it from the trees. If you need pretty folly. <laughs> we pull a man-sized crest. Tonight's a man-sized crest. Good. Good. Real on a show. Now tell me what you had in mind, Georgie boy. Oh, the old Malocco Plus first, would Malocco you not Plus, say? Huh? <laughs> I was calm on the outside, but thinking all the time. Georgie the General, saying what we should do and what not to do. Thinking was for the gloopy ones, and that the Omni ones used like inspiration and what fog sends. There was a window open with a stereo on, and I vidied right at once what to do. So, with the help of a clean tash took, the red, red crewy soon stopped, and it did not take long to quieten the two wounded soldiers. Now they knew who was master and leader. The real leader knows always when like to give and show generous to his unders. And we're back to where we were. This idea of yours for tonight. Tell us all about it then. You're a big, strong Chelebeck like us all. What then didn't thou in thy mind? Out of the town, isolate. It's owned by this, like, very rich Patitza who lives here with her cats, completely on her own. So, the next victim. Can you please help? There's been a terrible accident. Can I please use your telephone for an ambulance? There's a telephone in the public house about a mile down the road. Let's see. It's a matter of life and death. My friends are in the middle of the road, bleeding to death. I never open the door to strangers after dark. If I disturbed you, thank you very much. Good night. You come in from the ghetto. Damn it, I'm going to get in that window and open the front door. Hello, Rabbit Police Station. Good evening, it's Miss Weathers at Woodmere Health Farm. Going to police. Nothing at all, but you never know. Well, the thing that caught my attention was what he said. The words he used sounded papers this morning in connection with the writer and his wife who were assaulted last night. At last we meet. How the hell did you get in here? Bloody hell do you think you're doing? Naughty, naughty, naughty. You filthy old sunka. Just turn round and walk out of here the same way as you came in. Leave that alone. Don't touch it. It's a very important work of art. Well, to be perfectly honest, to see who can get the most points for selling magazines. Sit up here before you get yourself into some very serious trouble. I told you to leave that alone! No, paper! I'll teach you to break into real people's houses! Bastard! I can see it. Kill her. Please take the bands. Get us this man. Don't say a single solitary slogan unless I have my lawyer here. I know the law, you bastards. Show our little friend Alex here that we know the law too. Knowing the law isn't everything. Nasty catch you've got there, little Alex. Spoils all your beauty. You do that then. Mm, kind of sad here. Mr. Del Toy. Good evening, Inspector. Would you like your tea now, sir? No, it does look a mess, doesn't it? Just look at the state of him. He resisted his lawful arresters. He got for me, sir, for I'm not so bad. I was led on by the treachery of others, sir. So I stinking traitorous droogs. Get them before they get away. It was all their idea, brothers. 
They forced me to do it. I'm innocent. <laughs> Snitting. Oh, no, a murderer, little Alex. Only a slight old jock. She was breathing, I swear it. <laughs> I've just come from the hospital. This is some new form of torture. Say it, brother, sir. It'll be your own torture. I hope to God it'll torture you to madness. Bash in the chops that don't mind us. We'll hold him down. Tragic part of the story beginning. Oh, my brothers and only friends. Sentenced to 14 years in Stager number 84F among smelly perverts and hardened prestupniks. Open up, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Here at the business committal court. Thank you, Mr. Alexander Delarge. You are now in 18 prison part law. 14 years, sir. Crime? Murder, sir. Only 14 years for murder. Amazing. And it is your duty to memorize that number. Thank you, Mr. Well done. All right, empty your pockets. Are you able to see the white line painted on the floor directly behind you? Six double high feet away. Then your toes belong on the other side of it. that await unrepentant sinners in the next world as well as this thrill of theft, of violence, the urge to live easy. We have undeniable proof, yes, incontrovertible evidence. What is this guy doing? In visions that there is a place and any flame of human fire where souls of unrepentant criminals... <laughs> He's making fun of him. Hell hole and human zoo for two years now. Toll chopped by brutal warders and perverts. Ready to dribble all over a luscious young mouth like your storyteller. She great burly bastard. But he was very fond of myself, me being very young, interested in the big book. Mm. It's not the Christ. About the scourging and the crowning with thorns, helping in and even taking charge of the toll chocking and the nailing in the height of Roman fashion. I didn't so much mm, like the last nice part of the book, which is more like all preachy talk. That's where these old Yehudis toll chock each other and then drink their Hebrew vino, getting onto the bed with their wives' handmaidens. Seek not to be like evil men. Neither desire to be with them. Weary in the days of distress, thy strength shall be diminished. Fine, my son, fine, fine. Father, <laughs> do you have any institutional infraction? How about father? You certainly have not six double five three two one. Can I ask you a question in private? Don't be shy to speak up. Churches that can trouble young men, deprived of the society of women. New treatment. They'll get you out of prison in no time at all. These things get around, Father. This is what going on. And somebody can't help overhearing what this and the newspaper tells all about it. Putting me in for this new treatment, Father. The Vico technique. 
the topic of. It is only in the experimental stage at this moment. The governor has grave doubts about it. And I have heard that there are very serious dangers involved. I want for the rest of my life to be one act of goodness. Goodness comes from within. Experiment. I don't understand about that. The wise and wherefores, Father, instruct thy son, and he shall refresh thee, and shall give delight to thy soul. Yeah, what did you know? Yes, exactly. Concentrated criminality, crime in the midst of punishment, be needing all our prison space for political offenders. Common criminals like these are best dealt with on a purely curative basis. It means nothing to them, you can see that. They enjoy their so-called punishment. Absolutely right, sir. Shut up, leading hole! I did, sir. What crime did you commit? The accidental killing of a person, sir. He brutally murdered a woman, sir, in furtherance of theft. Fourteen years, sir! Is that surprising? Aggressive? Outgoing. We could still look at C-Block. No, 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 that's enough. He's perfect. I want his record sent to me. If you make the most of it, my boy. Shall we go to my office? Thank you. Over to the white line. First guarded. Full name and number to the governor. Senator Lodge, sir. 655321, sir. These new ridiculous ideas have come at last. And orders are orders. Eye for an eye, I say. Someone hits you, you hit back, do you not? The new view is that we turn the bad into good. It's the unjust, eh? Sir, Shut up, you scum! You are to be go to this man Brodsky. You will be leaving this here. Man is speaking. You will be transferred to the Ludovica. Some of the ask you a question. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I've done my best here. I really have. Read it, sign it. It says that you are willing to have the residue of your sentence commuted to submission to the Ludovico treatment. Another copy. And I felt a malanky bit sad having to say goodbye to the old Stager. As you always will when you leave a... Hold the prisoner! Yes, we've been expecting you. I'm Dr. Orcott. I wondered if you'd mind signing these transfer documents, sir. And they are, sir. Halt! Is that the officer that is to take charge of the prisoner, sir? If I may offer a word of advice, Doc, you'll have to watch this one. A right brutal bastard he has been. Always sucking up to the prison chaplain and reading the Bible. Oh, I think we can manage things. Hey, please. Good morning, Alex. My name is Dr. Branham. I'm Dr. Brodsky's assistant. Good morning, Mrs. Lovely. You'll meet Dr. Brodsky and we'll begin your treatment. You're a very lucky boy to have been chosen. Full concern. We're going to be friends then, aren't we, Alex? I hope so, Mrs. Yes, sir. I did put in one. Send me to sleep. Oh, no, nothing of the sort. Vitamins, will it be then? We're a little undernourished, so after each meal, we're going to give you a shot. Right side, please. Loosen your pajama pants and pull them halfway down. What exactly is the treatment here going to be? And Viddy films, I would. Where I was it's taken to, brothers, pins. was like no cine I ever vidied before. And McGulliver was strapped to a headrest with like wires running away from it, like lidlocks on the eyes, so that I could not mm, shut them. It's kind no of matter how. It seemed a bit crazy to me. If I was to be a free young Malchick again in a fortnight's time, I would put up with much in the meantime, oh my... So far, the first film was a very good professional piece of cine. Now to a real horror show. You could slushy the screams and moans, very realistic, and Malchicks at the same time. And then what do you know? Red Vino on tap. The same in all places like it's put out. It's funny how the colours of the real world only seem really real when you video them on a screen. The time I was watching this, I was beginning to get very aware of, like, not feeling all that well. I tried to forget this, concentrating on the next film, which jumped right away on a young Devochka. First by one Malchik, then another. Thor seventh Malchik, leering and smecking, and then going into it, began to feel really sick. And even if I tried to move my glass balls about, I still could not get out of the line of fire of this picture. Why are we sick? <laughs> Get to be mm -hmm. Very soon now, the drug will cause the subject to experience a death-like paralysis. One of our early test subjects described it as being like death. The subject will make his most rewarding associations violence, he sees. Leave me glasses! Made a very positive response. In two sessions, of course, morning and afternoon. Imagine you'll be feeling a little bit limp by the end of the day. But we have to be hard on you. You have to be cured. Violence is a very horrible thing. 
That's what you're learning now. Your body's learning. I used to feel like the very opposite. I mean, doing it or watching it, I used to feel real on a show. When we're healthy, we respond to the presence of the hateful with fear and nausea. day brothers and i had truly done my best like a horror show cooperative malchick in the chair of torture nasty bits of ultra violence on the screen the only sound being music pain and sickness what music it was that like cracked and boomed ludwig yeah, fan fourth movement He promised to restore law and order and to make the streets safe again for the ordinary peace-loving citizen. of criminal violence is soon to be a thing of the past. You speak louder than action. You don't wash much, do you? Judging by the horrible smell. I had a shower this morning. Oh, you had a shower this morning. <laughs> you call me a liar? No, brother. Well, you must think I'm awfully stupid. <laughs> I've never done wrong to you. You want to know why I did that? Well, you see. I do this! <laughs> and that! And what your horrible type do I? Go on! Please do! <laughs> Go on! Please let me get out. <laughs> you want to get out? Now you listen to me. Is it that you? <laughs> well, I want you to lick it. Uh, 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 my brothers, would you believe you pushed out his red yazik a mile and a half to lick the Grasny Vonny boots? I said whooshed up and turned the like joy of battle into a feeling I was going to snuff it. With the light like it was, the light floor with the old in out, real savage. Quick as a shot came the sickness, like a detective that had been watching around the corner, followed to make his arrest. Thank you, my dear. Not feeling too bad now, are you? Uh, I'll soon well, sir. Fine, my boy, absolutely fine. I am paradoxically being impelled towards evil. The intention to act violently, and the subject has to switch to a diametrically opposed attitude. The boy has no real choice, has he? Fear of physical pain drove him to that grotesque act of self-abasement. This is also to be a creature capable of moral choice. Padre, these are subtleties, and only with cutting down crime. Yeah. He will be your true Christian ready to turn the other cheek to the very heart of the thought even of killing a fly reclamation is that it works your friend and humble narrator was a free man marry a lighthouse keeper and live by the tide i want to marry a lighthouse keeper on that meet the neighbors in the seagulls by the sea hi 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 there mark pena Oh, what a surprise. Good to see you. Give him fit. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, how are you then? How are you? I'm back. Just read about it in morning papers. 
Ah, you should have let us know, lad. Cured too, eh? That's right, Dad. They did a great job on me. I'm completely reformed. Still the same old place, then, eh? Oh, hi, hi. Strange fella sitting on the sofa, munchy munchy and lamb ticks of toast. Lives here now. The lodger. He rents your room. Yes, my room. Why him? Breaking the arts of your poor grieving parents. Go back to make life a misery for your lovely parents once more as that it stops you will because you see they've let me be more like a son to them, the lodger. Yo, yo. <coughs> well, do put your hand over your mouth, please. It's bloody revolting. It's enough to put you off your food. What have you done with all my own personal things? Oh, I took away some. Well, by the police. Compensation for the victims. Where's my snake? Fine. <laughs> He met with, like an accident, uh, he passed away. This is my home also. What suggestions have you, my P&M, to make? He will just kicked you out. Not just like that, can we? And we made like an arrangement, uh, didn't we, Joe? For me to go off and leave you two to the tender mercies of this young monster, <laughs> who's been like no real son at all. It's all his craft and artful. <laughs> He's healthy. Let him go and find a room somewhere else. His being doesn't deserve such a good mum and dad as he's had. And everybody wants me to go on suffering. <laughs> and sitting here at night round the family table, and pretty shocking it was to listen to. Real sick, a lot of it did. See your mother. You won't ever biddy me no more. I'll make me own way. Thank you very much. But it lie heavy on your con. Oh, but you to get him. Can you spare some cutter, my brother? It's the same kind. Can you spare some cutter, my brother? Thanks, brother. Holy mother of God and all the blessed saints in heaven preserve us. I never forget a face. This is the poisonous young swine that near drove me in. Him and his friends, they beat me and kicked me and pumped me, laughed at me, blood in me moans. Then there was like a sea of dirty, smelly old metal rookers and horny old claws. It was old age having a go. Little solitary thing, oh my brothers. It being better to be hit at like that. Feel that horrible pain. Listen, boys. Back away. All away with you. What's the trouble, sir? Well, well, well. <laughs> well, little Alex. Long time no video, Drew. Little Alex, a job for two, who are now a job eh? <laughs> I just don't get this at all. The old days are dead and gone. I've been cured. cured yeah. It was them that went for me, brothers. <laughs> well, you're not on their side and can't be. Okay. Could that be? The same house. I'll see what it is. Mm. Ah, that was sad again. This young man needs some help. What happened to you, my boy? Those are only friends. There was your faithful narrator. Being held helpless like a babe in arms. And why home on the gate had looked so familiar. But I knew I was safe. I and my so-called droogs wore our masks, which were like real horror show disguises. Mm -hmm. Police. Police. They beat me up, sir. I know you. Okay, it's over there. Isn't it your picture in the newspapers? The poor victim of this horrible new technique. Yes, sir. Jim, sir. And by God, you've been sent here by Providence. Tortured in prison, then thrown out to be tortured by the police. These are fond of bringing their victims to the outskirts of this village. But it is providential that you, who are also another kind of victim, should come here. Bath for this young man. Certainly, Frank. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, 
we've seen it all before in other countries. The thin end of the wedge. Before we know where we are, we shall have the full apparatus of totalitarian. It's a living witness to these diabolical proposals. The people, the common people, the vision of liberty is all. The common people will let it go, oh yes. They will sell liberty for a quieter life. One from the point. What's going on? Kind of you, sir, to leave this out for me. There was no one around when I finished my bath, so I started. Hope that's all right, sir. Of course. Food, all right. Great, sir, great. Try the wine. Thank you, sir. Happy days. Won't you join me? No. My health doesn't allow it. Quite an ending. Steph. Medoc. Very good brand, sir. Nice, too. <laughs> Very nice little number, sir. Well, here's to it. Very refreshing. I'm pleased you appreciate good wine. Have another glass. And to make him drink. My wife also. used to do everything for me and leave me to my right. Your wife, sir? Is she away? No, she's dead. We were assaulted by a gang of vicious young hoodlums in this house, in this very room you are sitting in now. Left a helpless cripple, but for her, the agony was too great. During a flu epidemic, the doctors told me it was pneumonia, but I knew what it was. A victim of the modern age. Another victim of the modern age. But you can be helping some friends while you were having your bath. Me, sir, help you. Who are they, sir? They're very, very important people. I think I want to trouble you any further, sir. I think I should be leaving. No, 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 my boy. No trouble at all. Let me fill your glass. I understand you had a rather um, unfortunate encounter with this did in your case. Well, shall we uh, get down to it? Fine, fine, sir. In addition to your being conditioned against acts of sex and violence, you've inadvertently been conditioned against music. Um, Ludwig van Beethoven. B -E it's all right, thank you. A particularly bad film of, like, a, a concentration camp. Uh, the background Beethoven. It's not all music, it's just the ninth. You mean Beethoven's Ninth Symphony? Snuff it, sir. I'm death, I mean, uh, Mrs. Um, I, I just want to die peacefully, very miserable, very much down in spirits. Do you still feel? I can't see much in the future. And I feel that any second, something terrible is going to happen to me. Okay. Well done, Frank. We sent the sleeping pill. No, sleeping consideration. I woke up. The pain and sickness all over me like an animal. Music coming up from the floor was our old friend Ludwig van. Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! This guy now is dead. Suddenly I bidded what I had to do, and that was to do myself in. To snuff it. Cruel world. Forever and ever and ever. Something to came back to life after a long black black gap of what might have been a million years uh, oh. 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 to try and do yourself in. Maybe it was our fault too. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. A psychiatrist. Psychiatrist? Do I need one? Just part of hospital routine. What are we going to do? Talk about me sex life? I'll show you some slides and you're going to tell me what you think about. Good. Oh, no. I've been having this very nasty dream. Very nasty. It's like um, half awake and unconscious-like. I kept having this dream. 
And like all these doctors were playing around with me Gulliver, I had this dream over and over again. Do you think it means anything? Patients who sustain the kind of injuries you have often have dreams of this sort. If these slides needs a reply from one of the people in the picture. What the other person would say? Yes. It's a little plumage beautiful. Too long. Just say the first thing that pops into your mind. It's not got a, a beak. Good. <laughs> You always quarreled with is seriously ill. And I'll smash your face for you, ya blockos. <laughs> no time for the old in and out, love. I've just come to read the meter. Good. Sold me a crummy watch. I want my money back. You know what you can do with that watch? Stick it up your ass. <laughs> do whatever you like with these. To smash them. And pick them all up. And throw them <laughs> out. Violent thoughts. You seem well on the way to making a complete recovery. When do I get out of here then? I'm sure it won't be long now. Being away at eggy wigs and lomtics of toast and lovely steaky wigs, I was going to have a very special visitor. Just wait outside for a moment, would you, officer? Yes, sir. Well, how are you getting on today, young man? Great, sir. Just great. Don't think so, sir, Leslie. Thank you very much. Then I leave you to it. Nurse? I wake up in the middle of the night with me pain. I tell you with all sincerity that I and the government of which I am a member are deeply sorry about this, my boy. Deeply sorry. Heard recommendations which were made to us that turned out to be wrong. We never wished you harm. Yeah. But there are some who did and do. There are certain people who wanted to use you for a political end. Been mad with desire to stick a knife into you. But you're safe from him now. We put him away. That you had done wrong to him. At least he believed you had done wrong that you had been responsible for the death of someone near and dear to is he now sir we put him away where he can do you no harm job on a good salary what job and how much have an interesting job at a salary which you would regard as adequate but also because you are helping us we always help our friends don't we there are some who think that at the next election we shall be asked. chosen to take a very unfavorable view of what we tried to do can be instrumental in changing the public's verdict. Do I make myself clear? No. It's an azure sky of deepest summer. You can rely on me, Fred. Good. <laughs> Confusing ending. And actually, no, what's, what's going on in the ending? I go in mean, experiment uh, what to be great at all. I wonder if this happens in real life, though. Uh, you never know. It's a wonderful